to assassinate. Go to assassinate. Look, you can cancel it, see. Oh, that's so toxic. So in today's video, we are bringing the HDR from Modern Warfare 2019 back into Warzone 2. If you guys are already subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos, you have seen that I've done this before. But guys, I'm not going to lie. This HDR build slaps. Real quick, shout out to the homie who commented on the last video. And if you guys want to be featured in the next video, all you got to do is go down below, drop a big booty like, watch the entire video, and comment what your favorite sniper in Warzone history was. I want to let you guys know if you ever want to watch my gameplays live and even play with me, you can find me live at kick.com slash I'm live over there every single day by the latest 11 a.m. EST. But all right, gang, let's get into it. Took my gun, didn't he? Did you get him away, away from the box? Chasing you. The fat, the way that I caught up to him, though. No way. Yeah. Word, 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 word. We need more money, though. Mm. Right, 
stuck with the hit marker. Bro, why your black make it sound so much fun? Alright gamers, let's get into this Victus XMR real quick. Pretty similar to my last HDR video for the laser. We got the VLK laser 7 milliwatt. For the optic, we get the 6.3x by 14x crack optic. For the stock, we get the XRK Rise 50. Moving on down to the rear grip, we get the Bruin Q900 grip. And because we want the one-shot headshot for the ammunition type, we get the 50 cal explosive rounds. Alright, I'm also gonna go over my Lockman sub sniper support. In the last two videos, I actually went over different variations of this build, but this is definitely the one I'm gonna be sticking with. For the muzzle, we get the Bruin cubic comp for the barrel we get the l38 falcon 226 for the stock we get the lm stockless mod magazine type is a 40 round mag but feel free to run the 50 round drum it really doesn't affect the mobility and handling that much and then because of the buff on the hollow point rounds we're going to be running these bad boys all right going straight into the tuning on the victus xmr for the vok laser 7 milliwatt we got sprint to fire speed at a negative 0.27 followed by aim down sight speed at negative 25.50 for the karak optic we have aim down sight speed at negative 2.5 and we're actually going to leave the length alone. For the XRK Rise 50 stock, we have ADS speed at negative 2.19, followed by aim walking speed. In other terms, just a nice little mobility buff at negative 1.08. Moving on down to the Bruin Q900 rear grip, we have aim down sight speed at negative 0.61, as well as sprint to fire speed at negative 0.23. And then lastly, for the 50 cal explosive rounds, we have damage range at a positive 0.50, followed by bullet velocity at a positive 4.94. All right, moving right on over to my MP5 for 
the Bruin Cubic Comp, we have recoil stabilization at a positive 0.65, followed by recoil control at a positive 0.23. For the L38 Falcon 226mm barrel, we have aim walking speed, like I said, mobility at negative 0.29, followed by aim down sight speed at a negative 0.23. And then the last thing that we could tune on the MP5 is the hollow point rounds. So we're going to have damage range at a positive 0.43, followed by bullet velocity at a positive 6.68. And that'll do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go down below, drop a big booty like and comment. And if you're new here, man, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Make sure the notice are on. But more importantly, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.